How's everybody doing? I'm T1P, aka the Only Prophet, and I'm going to do a quick little tutorial here to show you how to rewire Ableton with Reason or Record, um, and uh, show you how to set your launch pad up to show you some feedback. So Ableton's already open. You go ahead and open Record at this point. And here in your rack, go ahead and add whatever instrument that you want to be able to control. Let's name that. Need. Initialize that. And I'm going to create a quick little three oscillator lead here. Make sure and route those through the filter. Bring up the rest just a tad. Velocity two. Bring that velocity right up. Turn on the delay. Bring that down to about 315, not so wet. Bring that sustain up. And we got us a quick little lead patch there. Alright, back in Ableton. This audio file here, or audio track. See here it says audio from, click that, click record. Audio from record. And you can see you can get it from any of the different channels, but for our purposes, we want to just use the main mix. To do this, um, this will allow you to bring individual instruments in from Reason into individual tracks in Ableton. Uh, so you'll have even more control over them that way. So we want that audio going straight to the master, this MIDI. Rename that, call it Rewire. Get MIDI from everywhere. And we want to send that MIDI straight to record. And this little second drop down pops up. Go in there and select lead. Select your instrument that you want to control. Now MIDI information is being sent, audio is coming back. We're not hearing anything. It's because we need to turn on the monitors for both tracks. Now we're getting audio coming in. Perfectly there. So, that's that. Rewired to reason. Now, insert another mini track. We're going to call this Launchpad Lights. Because if you're using a Launchpad in user one mode to control your MIDI track, then you're going to want some feedback there that shows you what you're pressing. So we're going to get the MIDI from Rewire. I want to send that MIDI to the launch pad and monitor that too. Now we get lights on the launch pad, but they're a really weird generic color. So you want to get this MIDI effects going, open up and grab the velocity, drop that right on the launch pad track. Then with this knob right here, the out high, you can control the color of the feedback lights there we go it's like a nice bright red color there and there is a reference online for uh, the, what color each velocity will send out to the launch pad um, but I'm not really sure where that is at the moment
Um, so I guess that's it for this time. Uh, I'll be doing several of these little, you know, mini tutorials. Uh, I want to try to start giving back to the community a little bit. I've gotten so many great little pieces of information from different members of the community. Now that I know a little bit more about what I'm doing, I want to start trying to give back. And according to Tom Cosm's free ebook, it's a great way to stay creative during uh, lulls in your production cycle. So, you know, you take breaks and take these challenges and do these tutorials. So come back to my blog often. Uh, leave your comments here. Let me know what you think. If there's a specific tutorial that you would like to see, let me know what it is and I'll do my best to get it done. I'm also going to be posting these on the boyinaband.com forum and if you haven't seen any of his tutorials go and check those out especially the seven day songs and his website has a whole tutorial section so you can check that out again you know go check out the Facebook page I'm going to post all these there too and don't forget to check out Tom Cosm's producers show off corner on Facebook uh, it's a great place to meet other producers and see how they work, see their workflows, and uh, everybody is screencasting for the things there. Alright, thanks a lot. See you next time.